get inspired. All right, today we are going to talk about the difference between exact form and approximations. So let's open up the calculator. So let's go new document, uh, the calculator. Now let's say you tried to do something like 100 divided by six, and then you hit the enter button over here. 50 thirds, all right? That is it as a, written as a simplified fraction, which can be very nice. But let's say you want an approximation in decimals. Well, notice right above the enter sign, there's a, those two little blue squigglies. That means approximation. So if you get this answer, a quick way to get an approximation is if I just hit control before I hit enter, it will give me the approximation and it will just give me the approximation of what I just did. So I hit control, enter, there it is, decimal form. Here's another th place where it might give you an exact form. Let's say you wanna do a square root. See how the square root sign lives? See there's squared, control above, see that little square root, control, square root. Let's take the re square root of 500. Not a perfect square. All right, because it's 100 times five and you can pull a 10 out. So it simplifies radicals for you, which a lot of calculators don't do. That is really, really, really nice. All right, now let's say I wanna do that again. Now here's not another way, if you, if you, don't, if you forget to, that you can actually just hit control enter to redo this, you could actually just scroll up and hit enter. Boom, it'll throw, it'll just grab it and bring it down there for you. Now, if you hit control, enter, there it is as an approximation for you. Um, and let's do it something with involving pi. So here's the pi down here. You hit the pi, and that opens up a couple other options that, are, that live inside this home with pi. But you can grab your pi, and let's say you do want to do pi times 5 squared, enter. 25 pi, that's exact form. You want the approximation, you hit control, then enter, and there you get your approximation, and everyone's a winner. Now, a couple other things. If you type in something like the square root of 500, and then you put a period in, once you put that decimal in, it will only give you decimals back out. It will not give it to you an exact form. So you put a decimal in, it gives you decimals out. That's another way to get your approximation. One last thing is let's say you do something like, um, let's do 10 divided by three, just 3.3 .3 repeating. Now if you hit enter and you're like, Oh wait, that's not what I want to show you. Let's say you do 10, enter, and then you say divide that by three. So it's going to take your previous answer, divide it by three. It's going to give you your um, your approximation. I'm sorry, your exact form. You want an approximation, then you might say, oh, I heard Mr. Warden just said hit control enter. Now, if you hit control enter again, what it's, since you took the 10 up here and divided it by three. What it sees is the command is dividing the previous thing by three, so it's gonna divide it by three again. So if you don't want that, you have to just grab this 10 thirds. So you go up to 10 thirds, grab that, and then hit control enter. So if you do miss the approximation key the first time, just make sure you are, the calculator is doing what you want it to do. So you have to be a little bit careful um, if you just wanna hit control enter. And, and think that you're gonna get the exact same thing because if you did, if there was some function going on in the middle there, um, it's going to do that again. Just to reiterate that, let's say you take like 100, enter. And then I say divide that by two, enter. And then if I keep hitting enter, it's just gonna keep dividing by two. It's, it's gonna do exactly what I did the last, the, whatever the last thing that I did, it's gonna to continue to do that operation again and again and again and again and again and again and again again and again all right time to go walk my dog see ya later gotta turn you off can't
figure out where the right button is. There it is. Bye.